The United States is littered with food deserts, areas with little or no access to traditional grocery stores that offer fresh and affordable foods, foods that are essential to maintaining a healthy diet. Instead of such stores, neighborhoods and food deserts depend on fast food restaurants and convenience stores that rarely provide nutritional choices. We're all paying a price for uh, the fact that healthy, affordable food is not available in certain communities. And uh, those neighborhoods in particular are paying a very high price um, because what we're saying as a society is that it is okay um, that some folks don't have access to these things. And um, my, in my book, uh, if folks make bad choices after we give them the choices, then that's on them. Uh, but if we as a society cannot uh, at least work hard to give folks the right choices, um, then that's kind of on us. Nationally, 23.5 million people live in a food desert. In South Carolina alone, over a billion dollars a year uh, is spent on treatment of obesity to obesity-related health problems. That's a lot of money, and that cost can be brought down by increased access to healthy foods. If you look at the health outcomes of food deserts, um, they're drastically worse than the health outcomes of uh, neighborhoods that have access to grocery stores and quality affordable foods. And when those health outcomes go bad, uh, we all pay the price. And we as a society can do any amount of education about diabetes and hypertension and that kind of thing, but if people fundamentally can't get better food, then no amount of education is gonna change the game. Obesity is the fastest growing public health challenge the nation has ever faced. One of the things that's, 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 I guess, essentially important is that you eat healthy, but how can you eat healthy when you can't afford it? You can teach kids how to eat healthy all you want to. When they come home at the end of the day, if their mother can't afford anything but a chicken box and she put it on the table and you're hungry, you're gonna eat chicken box. No matter how unhealthy it, it is, and you, you may know that, but you gotta eat to survive. The United States is expected to spend $344 billion on obesity-related issues in 2018 if rates continue to increase at their current levels. I think everybody's tired of throwing money at problems, and I think the best course is uh, accountability. But you can only be accountable when you know what to be accountable about and you have the skills to accomplish the task. It's really a kind of uh, ridiculous to, to hold a plumber accountable for building a car, isn't it? And so we feel in the same way, it's a little bit ridiculous to uh, call certain groups of patients accountable for things that are just beyond their reach. But we believe they can be within their reach with appropriate support, with appropriate training, in a way that makes them self-reliant. They do not become dependent on us, but we help them get from where they are to where they need to be.